How's it going everybody? Ed Ricker here with a new FPV product review. This is the new Ovonic FPV 1300 milliamp hour 4 cell 100C discharge rate uh, battery for FPV quads. Now this battery has an XT60 connector on it so it's going to fit just fine with my Armaton Chameleons. Um, we're going to have to charge it up first but then we're going to take it out later on today. Now Ovonic is a battery manufacturer that I've actually never heard of before but um, we got the battery right there. Pretty sweet looking battery. I like the colors. Use a little X-Acto knife to cut through and release the cables. There we go. There's our XT60 and then our little charging lead right there. I never keep this on my batteries. However, I definitely am going to use this little um, buckle clip that they give you to attach to the charging plug. Now the C rating is the interesting part about this battery for me. Uh, I usually fly 75C batteries, this is 100C. And the C rating basically refers to the current flow that you could potentially achieve with a battery like this. So you're actually going to be getting more current flow at the expense of perhaps how long the battery is going to last on any given charge. They say to check the voltage before you charge it for the first time to make sure that each cell is between 3.7 and 4.2 volts. Uh, which is a good storage and shipping voltage. All right, I'm gonna get this charging. See you outside. This is one of my favorite spots because of that building right there. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of throttling with this thing, see what this battery can take. My current setup right now is the Armaton Chameleon with Dalprop 5046C propellers. Uh, we also have Emacs uh, RS2205S motors, Bia Heli S 30 amp ESCs. It's bright, it's hot, but it's showtime. Just having plugged in the battery, we already lost one tenth of voltage. That's okay, no big deal. All right. It's got some good punch to it. Got a good little scream. Let's see what this thing, uh, this light post has to do. Yeah! Got a little punch there. Nice. Yeah, we definitely have a little bit more of a punch here. Feels. Feels clean. There's no battery uh, sag after a couple of these uh, really intense punch outs. Feels good. I don't know what the time is on this. I stop flying when my battery starts showing low voltage, so I'm not sure how long we've been flying. But this feels pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna push it a little more. I would normally would not push it when it was saying 12 volts like that, but this is an experiment, right? Ah, uh, okay, now we got the sag. Now we got the sag, here we go. All right, so that was pretty much the entire battery right there. Um, hopefully that charges back up. <laughs> the battery's warm, <laughs> it's not puffy though. Uh, and honestly, Pushing it that fast, kind of going around these little bushes here, um, really, really quick and in an orbit, 
with the voltage so low, it's, it kept going. I didn't really feel a voltage drop until I was coming right back here. And even then, it wasn't a, like a serious like land now voltage drop. It was just like, I could feel it getting sluggish. Um, so for how low this got, it was still, it was still pushing. That was crazy. But my initial impressions are, it's a good battery. And for the price, 25 bucks right now, I mean, this thing could probably hold its own against some more expensive batteries. I think for 25 bucks, this is a great value. Check the link in the video description for this battery. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy flying. Whoops.